Team Junkyard Dog here today, and we are doing a post-event review of the Scalar Kit. Hey guys, I want to welcome you back to the channel. As you may have seen, I have a full build video on this little Scalar Kit from Repeat Robotics, and I just completed my first competition with this robot, and needless to say, it went fairly well. So the way we're going to format this video is I'm going to show you each fight and then provide commentary as to what happened in that fight. And then at the end, I will give you my final thoughts to see if this is a great kit to start out in combat robotics or not. So let's get into it. Okay, so the first fight for the Scalar Kit, a.k.a. Tyrone in my wheelhouse, was against a Viper Kit called Axolotl. This was a rookie driver, but it had a big nasty horizontal. So my thoughts going in were, let's take it easy. Let's not discourage a new bot driver and let's see what happens. All right, drivers, are you ready? Yes, sir. All right, then let's do this in three, two, one, fight. And both bots have their weapons spun up, having uh, coming at each other. Kind of hard on this diagonal to do the box rush. A little bit of contact. No, yeah, I think the Tyrone, this is a new kit, I think also has the foam rubber wheels. So both of these bots are going to find those as soft targets. And oh, big contact there. I lost the there's Tyrone in the corner. I can't see him anymore. So I'm seeing bits and pieces coming flying. I'm not quite sure who that is. Oh, another big weapon, weapon hit. And uh oh, looks like. Alright, forgot again. It is not a word. Not a word I'm apparently revealing with. Uh, we're gonna have to see some movement. Well, I don't know, Judge, what do you think? He's like the It's spinning, so that's that movement, that battle box rule movement. So either uh, she can tap out or Tyrone can tap out. And she tapped. So your winner by tap out, Tyrone! <laughs> Okay, so in that fight, you can see that I came out and I was, I actually had the weapon throttled way back. I was trying to take it easy and just take little hits until I got hit. Once I got hit and went flying, game was on. I didn't have spares. I couldn't risk the damage. So once I turned it up, I was able to get some bigger bites and send the robot flying a little bit further and eventually flipping them upside down, trapping them on their weapon. And, you know, they were still considering that spinning in a circle movement. So I went around to the wedge and was just tapping the wedge to let them know like, hey, if you want to save your bot, then you should tap. And they did tap out, which was the right thing to do because I could have easily just taken their tires off, but I didn't. Tyrone is now 1-0. Oh. Okay, so here we go into fight number two, which is Tyrone versus Hypnotic. Now Hypnotic is a control bot. He is a wedge. And don't be fooled by his PLA wedge because it is printed 100% solid, I think. That thing weighs a ton. And even though we were able to take some chunks out of it, we really couldn't destroy that wedge. But let's go ahead and watch the fight. And as a side note, Carter had to drive this fight because I was off in the con with my daughter because I was doing double duty. I had to play handler for my daughter in her Chica costume, but I also was there to fight robots. So this was actually Carter's fight. Let's see how it went. It's another wedge versus spinner in three, two, one. Five robots, five. Here they go. Looks like Hypnotic is going to shut their right into the wall. That wedge is tough. Hypnotic very, very fast. Four wheel drive. No fear against the weapon of Tyrone. Maybe a Tyrone's weapon spinning up doing what we call the death home. Tyrone getting shut around. He's running around on one wheel. Trick, bro, but you don't get points for that. You get points for destruction. Oh, Tyrone slams into the wall. Hypnotic, hypnotic plan is working as expected. He wants to shove Tyrone into the wall. He wants to shove him into the wedge. He wants to break his fist with his face. Now looks like some of the arena is starting to go. No two of these walls are wood, but the see through part that is left than his bulletproof glass. Looks like some of the tiny, pretty materials on Hypnotic are starting to be shredded like Parmesan. Oh, it looks like Tyrone! Tyrone oh, sucks! No, no. Oh my god! He almost pulled what we call a Malice. If you ever watch BattleBots, Malice got stuck on their back and couldn't 
would not move exactly in that position. Just like Tyrone, they didn't want history to repeat itself. We're down to 42 seconds. A lot of damage is being done for Tyrone, but a lot of shoving and control is coming on the half of him. So as you saw, the wedge was very effective. He was able to hold us off for a while, but eventually the hits add up and we actually kind of went up on top and we were able to cut through his top plate. Once we cut through his top plate, that exposed the insides and all just like that, as you saw, we ripped all the wires out of the robot. Carter felt terrible about it. That wasn't his intention, but I told him it happened so fast. There was nothing you could have done. And so Tyrone is now 2-0. Alright, so my third fight was against Wheelie Big Deal. That is one of our robots. It's piloted by Carter. It was a, basically it's a huge clone on the one pound scale. And needless to say, I don't have the fight. I don't know what happened to it. But it didn't last very long and it got split in two. And uh, that design has a long way to go. We're going to be dropping the huge style robot and just sticking with what we know. At this point now, Tyrone is 3-0. Okay, so now we're getting deep in the tournament. Things are getting interesting. If I win one more fight, I'm in the grand final, and that's against Insomnia. Now, Insomnia is a two-wheel vert, hits like a tank, has won many competitions, and is a, a robot by the Purple Fire team driven by Russell. And he's a good driver, and it's a great bot. I was nervous going into this one, so I actually switched to the heavy bar, which you can see that I have on here right now. And let's see how that fight went. Three, two, one, fight. Okay, so as you can see, it kind of looks like he overdrove the robot in the beginning, giving me a side, cost him a tire right away. Once that tire was gone, this little robot is very controllable and easy to drive. So I was able to just sit there and pick my shots and get myself into the final. How cool is that? I am at this point guaranteed second place. So now I spend the rest of my afternoon waiting to find out who's going to come out of the loser's bracket. And... To no surprise, it is Insomnia. So I have to fight him again, and again I am nervous because that robot can do big things in big ways. Let's go ahead and see how that last final fight went. Three, two, one, fight! And both bots had the weapons run up. Insomnia was a wide force, but Tyrone hasn't been suckered in the middle yet.
Rush looking to come up from behind. Twelve seconds. This one ends in nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Well, there you have it. I drove my robot like garbage, and as a result of driving like garbage, I ended up with second place. So, Insomnia did a much better job of driving. I was overdriving my robot as whenever I was gyroing and, you know, sitting up vertically like this and spinning fast. I didn't want to spin the weapon down because, you know, with a horizontal when he's standing up, you need to spin it down to get him to settle down so you can come back up and have control. But with Insomnia being so close, I was hoping that if I kept it spun up, then it would keep him from coming in and taking that shot on my top plate or bottom plate and buy me a little time. The result of that was, towards the end, not only the wheel falling off, which was uh, just due to lack of maintenance. I had an easy tournament for two days, so I should have double-checked those wheel uh, set screws, and I didn't. But on top of the wheel coming off, my battery died because I kept it wide open for too long, resulting in an elimination and getting second place. Now it was a double elimination tournament, but it's pretty popular here in Florida that the grand final is a single elimination because usually due to like time constraints and such. But I was happy with second place. The robot did extremely well, but let's go ahead, take a closer look at it and see what kind of damage I acquired over this entire tournament. All right, so here's an up close look of the robot. You can see I took a little nick here on the wheel. I lost a little chunk of one tire. This was my biggest hit received from Insomnia. You can see where it peeled the carbon fiber up a little bit and then bit into the top plate here, slightly peeling it up some. Not bad at all, especially considering the hit that it took. And then in my first fight, Chilotl or Chilotl, I'm butchering the name, I'm not sure how to say it, but this is where they got that big hit on me, which forced me to step my game up and to try to go ahead and knock that Viper kid out. But other than that, the robot took zero damage in all those fights, just little nicks and that was it, which was a good thing because I didn't have any spares. So what are my final thoughts on the Scalar Kit by Repeat Robotics? Okay, let's get into it. I've been driving horizontals since 2018. I have a lot of experience with them, and this by far is the best driving horizontal that I have ever driven. Even under full power, you have full control. You can still drive pilot, put the robot where you want it, so it's extremely good in that manner. It hits like a tank. It has a shot to win every single event. As a matter of fact, in this event, it finished second, and there was another one there, and it finished third. So out of the top three spots, this kit finished two and three. It should have finished one and three, but you know, that's, that's on me, not on the bot. The bot gives you the tool that you need to win a tournament. So I'm quite impressed with it. I'm eager to use it again. I'm taking it to Tampa on the 18th, and we're gonna try to win that one as well. But guess who's there? Insomnia. So. Hopefully it's another Insomnia Tyrone battle in the final, but this time maybe it'll turn out differently. If you're interested in this kit, just follow the links down below. Go to Repeat Robotics and check him out. He's got a lot of good stuff. He's doing a lot of innovating for the combat robot sport. And yes, I do recommend this kit. I do recommend it if you're new. It's easy to build. It goes together quite easily, and it's extremely effective. Until next time, we're Team Junkyard Dog, and we're out.